Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I just recently returned from the Dayton Hamvention in Dayton, Ohio, and in the preparation for that and the over two weeks that we were on the road and the massive digging out from under, uh, there's a letter I didn't get to uh, until today, and I apologize to Lee for that. This is dated May 17th, so it's a month ago. Um, this is from Lee Carmody, and I might point out that he included something for channel funds in there, which is greatly appreciated. He says, Dear Dave, I've been a ham for just a little over a year. I started watching your YouTube videos almost from the start, learned a lot. My station is running an ICOM 7610 which is a very, very nice radio. It's the next major step up from the 7300. Um, I have used a 7610 before. It's a <laughs> magnificent machine. I would not normally consider that a starter radio, but like all cameras, you can put the radio into point and shoot mode to where you just pick up the microphone and go. And then as you learn to use the different features, you can use them. He also has an amp and a Maritron AL82 and into an inverted V at 35 feet. Now he's got himself a little problem. He recently built an off-grid solar system. Okay, so that means solar panels and batteries and an inverter so that he can operate independent of the grid. Now there are a lot of on-grid solar panels that have the solar panels and an inverter which feed power into the system but they do not have the battery part of it so if the larger electric system goes down they go down too but this is an off-grid system and the inverter is a 12 kilowatt sun gold unit sun gold is a brand name i've not heard of and he has a real problem with it the thing is about inverters they have a dc to dc power inverter or a power converter in them. The way a DC to DC converter works, it's almost like a transformer. You can take say uh, 24 or 48 volts in, okay, it will, the DC, it will convert that in the switching power supply to um, maybe uh, 110 for the house or 220 if you're going to run a 220 appliance on it, depending on the, uh, the size of the uh, grid size of the installation. Now, one of the problems with this, the way switching power supplies work, is, as the name might imply, they have a switch in them. Now, what happens is, if you look at a classic transformer, okay, here's your classic transformer. It's got windings. This is the primary. This is the secondary. Okay and they only work on AC. If you put DC into them, you just simply heat the coil until it burns out. So, what we're going to do is create a unit as a switch in it. Okay, and this is going to charge a capacitor. And when you charge the capacitor, it will uh, go into a coil that will hold some electricity here, okay, and then by switching in the right way, you can put a transformer out here, and it can be a very small transformer because this switching, which is accomplished electronically, is done at about 20 to 50 kilohertz. Okay, and what makes these so efficient is that this switch is either on or off. Now let me show you what that looks like in a couple different ways, okay? Your switching power supply is a transistor. Um, we'll use NPN, they're actually usually PNP, but that's okay. Okay, so we put in lots of current and this, and so that it will conduct and with very little voltage loss over it. Or if you take that off, it doesn't conduct. And so the output of this is a square wave. 
Okay, just like this. Coming out of the thing. And then this is fed through the capacitors and the inductors and so on to create whatever waveform you want. This waveform right here is the problem. Now, a square wave, and we're going to, from your, from your letter here, it looks like uh, uh, 7190 to 71, 23, 23, 22, 23 kilohertz, 22 or to 23 kilohertz. And you have, if you look on the spectrum, you're going to have your fundamental where it's just going to be, let's say, 22, 44, okay, 22 times 44, the next harmonic will be at, uh, uh, let's see, 66, and so on down the line. You get most of your energy here, but you also have energy on the odd harmonics. This is the fundamental is the second and the third harmonic. So harmonic one is the fundamental. There's no such thing as a first harmonic. But you'll have this. Now the question is, how high will this go? Because each of these is a signal. Okay? And the answer is that unless there is some kind of mitigation across that switch there, if it's an electronic switch, it's going to put out harmonic, 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 dot, dot, dot. And this can go up into RF. And that's what you're hearing. He says... Um, I recently built an off-grid solar system. Uh, there is where my problem begins. The inverter is putting out spurious tones throughout the ham bands, approximately every 20 kilohertz. I normally work the 40 meter band. The tones here are here at this. Now let's see, 7190, that's about 23 apart. And then there's 22, 23, and so on up there. Hoping you have some suggestion to rectify the problem from Lee. Okay. This is your problem. You're getting these. They're coming out of the inverter. So you've got uh, DC coming in from your batteries. Um, okay. And you're... Your battery's here, and this goes to the panels. Now, this coming off of here is, D is uh, and this goes into the inverter. Okay, and I don't know how many volts you've got the thing set up for. 24 and 48 are common, let's just say 48 volts DC going in, and coming out is 120 volts AC, okay? Now, the thing is that that switch in there is using the wires and these wires as uh, transmitting antennas. And they come in through the uh, power line filters too. Now, a good, radio, a good um, power supply like this Samlex over here um, will take care of these harmonics coming in from over here. But what you need to do is put ferrites here and here, here and here, and a massively very good ground on the inverter case. It needs to be grounded very well. The ground, of course, needs to be bonded to the other grounds around the house. Okay, that will go a long way toward uh, stopping your problem. Now, if you look on your waterfall display, instead of being nice um, lines on the waterfall display, they will probably look like this. 
and they'll be the same as each other. Okay, that's because the oscillator in here is not a radio-grade oscillator. It, it varies. Okay, so that's what's going on. Ferrite beads there should help with the problem. Let me show you one other thing that will help. <clears throat> this is our giveaway for the month of June 20, uh, tw uh, 2022, okay? This is something I won in a raffle at uh, Quartz Fest. It's an MFJ AC line RFI filter. And there's a special place here on the end where you can ground it to your ham radio grounding system. Now, by the way, between that and the grounding log on this is a coil or a, an inductance that will help reduce the amount of that spurious noise that is propagated. This has all kinds of filters in it to keep that noise out. But now if you're hearing them, that means something is transmitting them. And what is transmitting them is the wires coming in and out of the inverter. So, put the ferrite beads on there. Go to Amazon and look for ferrite, just ferrite. And you'll find all sorts of snap-ons and stuff like that that you can put on there. In some cases, you can take the wires off of the inverter after you've cut the power, of course, and with an observer, um, a safety observer, whose sole job is to call 911 if things go wrong, and you can slip them through solid uh, cores. Okay? So I think, uh, Lee, that will solve your problem. And uh, I really appreciate the letter and the uh, Channel Funds edition, uh, and also very much appreciate you being an Augie. Now, if you liked this video and you would like to see more like it, please consider uh, adding to the channel funds. You can do that by going to decastlercom support. And uh, if you want to learn more about the giveaway, go to decastlercom giveaway. It will tell you exactly how to enter. And, of course, every month we change what it is that we're giving away. So, there you have it. And until we next meet, 73.